what's going on guys low voltage goes here back again with another video and today i wanted to show you guys how uh, to install some of these um, cameras on the, some i-beams and uh, i'm gonna show you guys how uh, i'm gonna be using some uh, unit truck with some uh these uh, spring nuts but these are different i bought these at uh, home depot uh, they're really good i would totally recommend these instead of using spring nuts um, I also got some uh, washers and uh, quarter inch bolts to mount this uh, camera onto the strut. And then, just so you guys see, I got my buddy up there already installing some uh, some of these cameras. So what he's doing is uh, he's uh, installing the uh, unit strut to the pole. I mean, the unit strut to the I beam and the mount to the unit strut. And making sure it's 100% uh, level and we're gonna go ahead and flex that out and uh, run the wire to it and just so you guys see I am sliding these uh, little spring nuts into here lining them up so I'll go ahead and mount my uh, wall mount onto the strut itself and as you guys can tell this is my wall mount right here and it's actually mounted to a corner mount right now, but I'm gonna remove this and mount it on the strut. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, right quick how it looks. Just wanted to give you guys a tip on how to mount cameras on the I-beams. So I'm going to remove these four bolts from here and then uh, mount it on the unit strut. Now that I got this um, wall mount uninstalled from uh, this, uh, corner mount I'm gonna show you guys how I how I'm planning to install this on the unit strip so I got my two spring nuts there and I'm gonna align these holes right here onto the spring nut like I said I'm gonna be using some of these um, washers and uh, quarter inch by an inch and a half long uh, bolts. So I'll go ahead and uh, install that into the strut itself. And I'll show you how it looks right now. Now that I have this in place, I am going to be mounting the camera on it. And screw them four bolts in there. And then put the cover on. Now that I have mounted the uh, wall mount into the strut, now I gotta mount the camera onto it and um, put the cover on and keep on mounting some of these. And just so you guys know, I'm gonna be uh, running some flex to the bottom of these uh, cameras. And just so you guys see, this is the quad axis camera 3707, I believe. These are some older cameras. And uh, bottom ones, you got some knockouts where you can run the flex to. And uh, let me just show you guys right quick uh, the how the beam clamps look. So you can go ahead and uh, use those to mount the unit strut to the uh, I beam. These are your uh, square bolt, U bolt uh, beam clamps. So you pretty much uh, slide this one in here. And what it does is it does what it does up there it hugs into the beam clamp so the beam clamp hugs to the high beam and then that's how it pretty much holds the then you could tell as well right there your flex connection make sure everything's level and that's how we mount these on the high beam